In a world filled with challenges, setbacks and constant demands, it's easy to believe that happiness is something that just happens, something you stumble upon when everything falls perfectly into place. But here's the truth. Happiness isn't a product of your circumstances. It's a choice you make every single day, regardless of what's going on around you. Too often, we tie our happiness to external events, waiting for the perfect job, the ideal relationship, or a dream vacation to bring us joy. But what if I told you that happiness is available to you right now, in this very moment? You don't need to wait for everything to be perfect. You don't need to have all the answers. You can choose to be happy, even when life isn't exactly how you imagined it would be. This audiobook is about empowering you to make that choice, to take control of your happiness and to realize that it's within your reach, no matter what. We'll explore practical strategies, mindset shifts, and real-life examples of how choosing happiness can transform not only your day, but your entire life. Happiness isn't something that happens to you, it's something you create. It's time to take that step, embrace your power, and choose to be happy. Happiness is one of the most misunderstood concepts in the world. Many people spend their entire lives chasing it, but often in the wrong places. Society tends to perpetuate the idea that happiness is tied to external achievements, landing the dream job, buying a house, traveling the world, or finding the perfect relationship. While these things can bring joy or satisfaction, they are not the foundation of true happiness. The pursuit of happiness through material success and external validation is a common trap that many fall into. One of the biggest misconceptions is that happiness is a destination. People say, I'll be happy when I get a promotion, or I'll be happy when I finally find the right partner. But what happens when they reach those milestones? The excitement wears off and they find themselves back where they started, looking for the next achievement to bring them joy. This is what psychologists call the hedonic treadmill, the idea that no matter how much success or material wealth we achieve, we quickly return to a baseline level of happiness. Another myth is that happiness comes from the opinions and approval of others. Many people go to great lengths to gain validation from friends, family or colleagues, thinking that if others admire or approve of them, they'll feel fulfilled. The problem is, external validation is temporary and unpredictable. Tying your happiness to how others perceive you puts your emotional well-being in someone else's hands, leaving you vulnerable to disappointment and self-doubt when that validation disappears. In reality, happiness is not something that can be found in material wealth status, or the opinions of others. True happiness is an internal state, rooted in how we view the world and ourselves. It's the result of how we think, act, and respond to life's ups and downs. It's not about having everything in life go perfectly. It's about developing the emotional resilience to remain content, even when things don't go as planned. Happiness is a choice. It's not about controlling everything around you, but about controlling your response to the things that happen. It's about focusing on what you can control, your mindset, your actions, and how you choose to show up in the world. When you redefine happiness as an internal state that you have the power to create, you break free from the cycle of chasing external achievements and begin to experience lasting joy from within. The first step toward happiness is shifting your perspective. It's learning to find contentment in the present moment, regardless of the circumstances. Instead of saying, I'll be happy when, you can begin to say, I choose to be happy now, even if things aren't perfect. Happiness isn't something you arrive at one day. It's something you cultivate through intentional choices, thoughts and habits every day. Happiness might seem like an abstract or subjective feeling, but research has shown that it is influenced by specific psychological and biological factors. 
understanding these factors can help us take practical steps to increase our happiness and improve our overall emotional well-being. One of the key discoveries in the science of happiness is that gratitude plays a significant role in shaping our emotional state. Numerous studies have shown that people who practice gratitude regularly experience more positive emotions, have greater life satisfaction, and even enjoy better physical health. Gratitude helps shift our focus from what's lacking in our lives to what we already have. By simply acknowledging and appreciating the good things in life, whether it's a supportive friend, a sunny day, or a small victory, we can train our minds to focus on the positive and, in turn, feel happier. Another important aspect of happiness is our mindset. How we interpret the events in our lives has a profound effect on our emotional well-being. People with a growth mindset, for example, tend to view challenges and failures as opportunities for growth rather than insurmountable obstacles. This allows them to maintain a more positive outlook, even in the face of adversity. Positive thinking doesn't mean ignoring the difficulties in life, but rather approaching them with a sense of resilience and optimism. When we practice positive thinking, we train our brains to see possibilities and solutions, which can greatly enhance our happiness. The role of neurobiology in happiness is also significant. Our brains release chemicals such as dopamine, serotonin and oxytocin that regulate our mood and sense of well-being. Certain activities like physical exercise, social interaction and even laughter trigger the release of these feel-good chemicals, boosting our mood and creating a sense of happiness. This means that we have the ability to influence our brain's chemistry through the choices we make in our daily lives. By engaging in activities that promote the release of these chemicals, such as practicing mindfulness, spending time with loved ones, or pursuing hobbies, we can increase our baseline level of happiness. In addition to gratitude and mindset, the science of happiness emphasizes the importance of forming positive mental habits. Just as we can train our bodies through physical exercise, we can train our minds to be more positive and resilient. Practices like mindfulness meditation, journaling and visualization can help us develop greater self-awareness and emotional control. These habits not only improve our overall happiness, but also make us more equipped to handle life's inevitable challenges. Ultimately, Happiness is not something that happens to us. It's something we cultivate through intentional mental and emotional habits. By understanding the psychological and biological factors that influence our happiness, we can take proactive steps to increase our emotional well-being and experience more joy in everyday life. One of the most empowering realizations in life is that you are responsible for your own happiness. Many people go through life believing that their happiness is determined by external circumstances, whether it's the people around them, their financial situation, or the events happening in their lives. But the truth is, happiness is an inside job. It doesn't come from what happens to you. It comes from how you respond to what happens. The first step in taking responsibility for your happiness is letting go of the blame game, it's easy to point fingers at others and say, I'd be happy if only they treated me better, or I'd be happy if my boss wasn't so difficult. But when we blame others or external factors for our unhappiness, we give away our power. We allow situations and people to control our emotions, leaving us feeling helpless and frustrated. Instead of blaming others, we can choose to reclaim our power by accepting that our emotional state is within our control. This doesn't mean ignoring the challenges we face or pretending that everything is perfect. It means acknowledging that while we can't always control what happens to us, we can control how we respond. When we take responsibility for our happiness, we stop waiting for external circumstances to change and start making choices that support our well-being. Practical steps for reclaiming control over your happiness 
include setting boundaries, practicing self-care, and cultivating a positive mindset. Setting boundaries means protecting your emotional energy by distancing yourself from people or situations that drain you. Self-care involves making time for activities that nurture your physical, emotional, and mental health. And cultivating a positive mindset means consciously choosing to focus on what's going right in your life rather than dwelling on the negative. Taking responsibility for your happiness also involves recognizing that you have the power to shift your mood at any moment. Whether it's through changing your thoughts, taking a break to reset, or engaging in an activity that brings you joy, you always have the ability to improve your emotional state. Happiness is not something you wait for, it's something you create through the choices you make every day. Shifting to a happiness mindset requires a conscious choice, and for many, it starts with letting go of the idea that life happens to them. It's common to fall into a victim mentality where we believe that external circumstances or people are responsible for how we feel. However, this mindset keeps us trapped, unable to take charge of our own happiness. The truth is, we can choose to shift from feeling powerless to becoming empowered, and this shift begins by focusing on what's within our control, our thoughts, attitudes, and actions. One of the most effective ways to foster a happiness mindset is to focus on what's right in your life rather than what's wrong. The brain has a natural tendency to highlight negative experiences. This is known as the negativity bias. It's a survival mechanism that makes us more sensitive to threats and challenges. But when we constantly focus on what's going wrong, we create a cycle of negative thinking which in turn affects our emotions and outlook. To break this cycle, we need to make a deliberate effort to focus on what's going well. Even in the most difficult times, there is always something positive if we choose to see it. This doesn't mean ignoring the challenges or pretending they don't exist, but it does mean not letting them dominate your thoughts. By consciously shifting your focus to the good, you train your brain to look for solutions hope and gratitude. Choosing positivity in difficult situations is one of the hallmarks of a happiness mindset. When things don't go as planned, our natural reaction may be frustration, disappointment or even anger. But it's in these moments that we have the greatest opportunity to practice the happiness mindset. Instead of reacting to the situation emotionally, you can pause and ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I use this challenge to grow? By shifting the narrative from victimhood to empowerment, you reclaim control over your emotional state and set the stage for greater happiness. Developing a happiness mindset is a lifelong practice. It's about rewiring your brain to seek out the good in every situation and to maintain a sense of optimism, even when circumstances are difficult. Over time, this mindset becomes second nature and you find yourself more resilient, more grateful and more content. The pursuit of happiness doesn't have to be an overwhelming, all-consuming task. In fact, it's the small, consistent habits we practice every day that have the greatest impact on our overall happiness. These daily habits may seem simple, but when practiced consistently, they create a powerful compound effect that can dramatically shift your emotional well-being. One of the most effective habits for cultivating happiness is gratitude journaling. Writing down three to five things you're grateful for each day trains your brain to focus on the positives in your life. It doesn't have to be grand gestures. Sometimes it's the small things, like a warm cup of coffee in the morning or a beautiful sunset, that remind us of life's simple joys. Over time, this practice rewires your brain to naturally gravitate toward gratitude, helping you build a more positive outlook on life. Mindfulness is another key habit that can elevate your happiness. Practicing mindfulness involves being fully present in the moment without judgment. 
It helps you become more aware of your thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations, allowing you to respond to situations with clarity rather than reacting out of habit or emotion. By grounding yourself in the present moment, you reduce stress and anxiety and increase your overall sense of peace and happiness. Exercise is also an essential part of a happiness routine. Physical activity releases endorphins, often referred to as feel-good hormones, which naturally elevate your mood. Whether it's a brisk walk, a yoga session, or a more intense workout, regular movement not only improves your physical health, but also boosts your emotional well-being. Studies show that even moderate exercise can reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety, making it a powerful tool in your happiness toolkit. The compound effect of these small, consistent habits is transformative. While you may not notice immediate changes, over time, these practices build up and create a solid foundation for long-term happiness. The key is to remain consistent even when life gets busy or challenging. By making these habits part of your daily routine, you ensure that happiness becomes a natural part of your life, rather than something you have to chase. A great way to start each day on a positive note is by creating a morning routine that sets the tone for happiness. This could include a few minutes of mindfulness or meditation, gratitude journaling, or even a quick exercise session to get your body moving. Starting the day with intention helps you stay grounded and focused on the positive, no matter what challenges may arise. By investing in your emotional well-being first thing in the morning, you're better equipped to navigate the rest of the day with a positive mindset. Gratitude is one of the most powerful and transformative emotions we can cultivate, and it plays a central role in creating lasting happiness. When we practice gratitude, we shift our focus from what we lack to what we already have, and this simple shift can bring a profound sense of joy and contentment. One of the reasons gratitude is so powerful is that it rewires our brain to focus on abundance rather than scarcity. When we constantly focus on what we don't have, whether it's a better job, more money, or a relationship, we reinforce feelings of lack and dissatisfaction. But when we focus on what we're grateful for, we train our brain to recognize the abundance that already exists in our lives. This shift in focus naturally boosts our happiness and helps us feel more fulfilled. Incorporating gratitude into your daily life doesn't have to be complicated. One of the simplest ways to practice gratitude is through a gratitude journal. Each day, take a few minutes to write down three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be big or profound. In fact, it's often the small things that make the biggest difference. Whether it's a kind word from a friend, a good meal, or simply the fact that you woke up healthy and alive, taking the time to acknowledge these blessings helps you cultivate a sense of gratitude. Another powerful exercise is the gratitude walk. This involves taking a walk and intentionally focusing on everything around you that you appreciate. The fresh air, the beauty of nature, the fact that your body is strong enough to move. This practice helps you stay present and mindful while also reinforcing your sense of gratitude for the world around you. There are countless stories of how gratitude has transformed people's lives. From individuals recovering from illness who credit their healing journey, to their focus on gratitude, to people who have found happiness despite facing significant challenges, the common thread is that gratitude helped them find joy and peace in the midst of adversity. By focusing on the good, they were able to shift their perspective and experience more happiness even when life was far from perfect. Gratitude is more than just a fleeting feeling, it's a way of life. When you make gratitude a regular practice, you create a positive cycle of abundance and happiness that continues to grow. It's a mindset that allows you to see the world through a lens of appreciation, and that simple shift has the power to bring more joy, more peace, 
and more fulfillment into your life. In life, adversity is inevitable. Everyone faces challenges, setbacks, and difficult times that can feel overwhelming. However, happiness isn't about having a perfect life without hardship. It's about choosing to stay positive and finding joy, even when circumstances are less than ideal. When you develop the ability to remain happy in the face of adversity, you gain control over your emotional state, rather than allowing external events to dictate how you feel. One of the first steps to choosing happiness despite adversity is accepting that difficulties are a natural part of life. No one is immune to challenges, but what sets happy people apart is their mindset during these times. They don't deny the reality of their struggles, but they also don't allow those struggles to consume them. Instead, they focus on what they can control, their reactions, attitudes, and resilience. Happiness, in this sense, becomes a choice rather than a reaction to external conditions. To maintain a positive attitude when life gets tough, you need specific techniques that help you reframe challenges. One effective strategy is to practice reframing negative thoughts. When faced with a setback, instead of thinking, this is terrible and I'll never recover, shift your mindset to, this is hard, but it's temporary and I have the strength to get through it. By consciously choosing a more positive narrative, you start to see challenges as opportunities for growth rather than insurmountable obstacles. Another technique is to practice mindfulness, especially during difficult moments. Mindfulness allows you to stay present and grounded even when things feel chaotic. Instead of getting lost in negative thoughts about the past or worries about the future, mindfulness encourages you to focus on the here and now. By staying present, you can better manage your emotions and maintain a sense of calm, which contributes to your overall happiness. Real-life stories of people who have chosen happiness despite overwhelming difficulties serve as powerful examples. Consider individuals who have faced life-threatening illnesses, financial ruin, or personal loss. Many of these people report that despite their challenges, they found a deeper sense of peace and joy by choosing to focus on what they still had, rather than what they lost. Their stories remind us that happiness is often about perspective. It's not about avoiding adversity, but about how we respond to it. When you learn to remain happy in the face of adversity, you become more resilient. Life's challenges no longer seem so daunting because you've built the emotional tools to handle them with grace. You can move through difficult times with a sense of peace, knowing that happiness is something you create within yourself, regardless of what's happening around you. Perfectionism is one of the biggest obstacles to happiness. When you're constantly striving for perfection, whether it's in your career, relationships, or personal achievements, you set yourself up for disappointment. Perfection is an impossible standard, and chasing it only leads to frustration, stress, and feelings of inadequacy. One of the most liberating realizations on the path to happiness is understanding that you don't need to be perfect to be happy. In fact, embracing imperfection is key to finding true joy. Life is messy, unpredictable, and full of flaws, and trying to control every detail can leave you feeling exhausted and unfulfilled. Learning to embrace imperfections starts with self-acceptance. When you accept yourself as you are, flaws and all, you free yourself from the constant pressure to be perfect. Self-acceptance doesn't mean settling for less or giving up on self-improvement. It simply means recognizing that you are enough as you are and that your worth isn't tied to being flawless. When you stop judging yourself harshly, you open the door to more self-compassion and, in turn, more happiness. Letting go of the need for perfection also means learning to accept imperfections in others and in life. Relationships, for example, are often a source of frustration for perfectionists because no one can live up to their ideal standards. 
By accepting that people are imperfect, just like you, you can let go of unrealistic expectations and start appreciating others for who they truly are. This shift not only reduces conflict, but also deepens your connections with the people around you, bringing more joy into your life. The same applies to life circumstances. Things won't always go as planned, mistakes will happen, and challenges will arise. But by embracing the unpredictability of life, you can approach each day with more flexibility and less stress. Instead of striving for a perfect outcome, focus on making the best of what you have. This mindset leads to more peace and contentment as you learn to find happiness in the journey rather than in a perfect destination. Ultimately, letting go of the need for perfection is about embracing life as it is. It's about recognizing that imperfections are not flaws, but opportunities for growth and connection. When you let go of perfectionism, you give yourself permission to enjoy life more fully, without the constant pressure to measure up to an impossible standard. In doing so, you create space for true happiness to flourish. The people you surround yourself with have a profound impact on your happiness. Positive relationships can lift you up, provide emotional support, and bring joy into your life, while toxic or negative relationships can drain your energy and affect your well-being. Choosing the right people to be in your life is one of the most important decisions you can make for your happiness. Positive relationships are characterized by mutual respect, encouragement, and emotional support. When you're around people who genuinely care about your well-being, you feel more secure and uplifted. These relationships act as a buffer against stress and hardship, helping you stay resilient and optimistic, even during tough times. It's essential to identify relationships that lift you up and avoid those that bring you down. Toxic relationships, whether they involve constant criticism, manipulation or negativity, can have a significant impact on your mental and emotional health. While it's not always easy to cut ties with toxic people, especially if they are family or close friends, setting boundaries is crucial. By limiting your exposure to negative influences, you create more space for positive, healthy connections. Building a support network of positive relationships takes time and effort, but it's well worth the investment. Surround yourself with people who inspire you, who support your goals, and who celebrate your successes. These are the people who will help you grow and maintain your happiness, even when life gets tough. The power of positive relationships goes beyond just emotional support. They also foster personal growth. When you're around people who encourage you to be your best self, you're more likely to pursue your goals, take risks, and achieve your dreams. These relationships provide a safe space for you to be vulnerable, explore new ideas, and push past your comfort zones, all of which contribute to a more fulfilling and joyful life. Choosing to prioritize positive relationships doesn't mean you have to cut everyone out of your life who isn't perfect. It's about finding a balance and recognizing which relationships add value to your life and which ones detract from it. By investing in relationships that bring joy, support and growth, you create a strong foundation for lasting happiness. Living with a sense of purpose is one of the most profound ways to experience lasting fulfillment and joy. Purpose gives life meaning and direction, making even the mundane feel significant. When you're aligned with your purpose, your actions are no longer random or disconnected. Instead, they contribute to something greater than yourself. This connection between purpose and happiness isn't just philosophical. It's grounded in research that shows people who feel purposeful in life tend to be happier and healthier. Discovering your unique purpose might seem daunting, but it doesn't have to be a grand, life-changing mission right away. It can start with something simple, like helping others, pursuing a hobby you love, or contributing to a cause that resonates with you. 
What matters is that your actions reflect your core values and beliefs. When you live in alignment with what truly matters to you, happiness flows naturally. Aligning your life with your purpose often requires reflection and introspection. You can start by asking yourself key questions. What activities make you feel alive? When do you feel most fulfilled? What legacy do you want to leave behind? Answering these questions can help you uncover the unique gifts and passions that fuel your sense of purpose. Once you've identified your purpose, even small actions can lead to immense happiness. Purpose doesn't have to be about major life changes. It's about finding meaning in everyday moments. Whether it's through acts of kindness, pursuing your passions, or making choices that align with your values, living with purpose creates a deep sense of satisfaction. Over time, these small purposeful actions compound to create a life filled with fulfillment and happiness. Purpose also helps you navigate through challenges and setbacks. When life throws obstacles your way, having a clear sense of purpose gives you the strength to persevere. You're no longer deterred by temporary difficulties because you know your life is moving in the right direction. This sense of purpose makes happiness more resilient, allowing you to maintain joy even when things don't go as planned. Negativity and self-doubt are two of the most common barriers to happiness. They can cloud your thoughts, diminish your confidence, and keep you from pursuing your goals. Overcoming these mental roadblocks is crucial for cultivating lasting joy, and it starts with recognizing that much of the negativity we experience comes from within, not from external circumstances. One of the most effective ways to combat negativity is by silencing your inner critic. This voice often tells you that you're not good enough, that you'll fail, or that you don't deserve happiness. Recognizing this negative self-talk is the first step in overcoming it. Once you're aware of the critical thoughts, you can challenge them by asking, is this true? Where is the evidence? Often you'll find that these negative beliefs are unfounded or exaggerated. Reframing negative thoughts into positive affirmations is a powerful tool for silencing your inner critic. Instead of thinking, I'll never succeed at this, reframe it to, I'm learning and growing, and I have the potential to succeed. Positive affirmations remind you of your strengths and potential, shifting your focus from self-doubt to self-empowerment. Cultivating self-confidence is another key component of overcoming negativity. Confidence isn't something you're born with, it's something you build through action and practice. Start by setting small, achievable goals and celebrate each victory, no matter how small. As you accumulate successes, your confidence will grow, making it easier to tackle bigger challenges without being weighed down by self-doubt. It's also important to surround yourself with positivity. This includes not only positive people, but also positive experiences, environments and media. What you consume, whether it's social media, news or conversations, impacts your mindset. By consciously choosing to engage with uplifting content and people, you create an environment that supports your happiness and reduces negativity. Lastly, practice self-compassion. Be gentle with yourself when you make mistakes or face setbacks. Negative self-talk often stems from unrealistic expectations of perfection. When you acknowledge that everyone makes mistakes and that failure is part of growth, you allow yourself the grace to learn and move forward without getting stuck in negativity. Mindfulness is a transformative practice that can greatly enhance your happiness. At its core, mindfulness is about living fully in the present moment, without judgment or distraction. When you practice mindfulness, you become more attuned to your thoughts, emotions and surroundings, which fosters a deeper sense of contentment and peace. Many of us spend our lives either dwelling on the past or worrying about the future, which robs us of the joy available in the present. 
Mindfulness helps break this cycle by encouraging you to focus on the now. When you're mindful, you appreciate life's small pleasures, whether it's the taste of your morning coffee, the sound of birds chirping, or the warmth of the sun on your skin. These moments of awareness, though small, have a profound impact on your overall happiness. One of the simplest ways to practice mindfulness is through mindful breathing. By focusing on your breath, you anchor yourself in the present moment. If you find your mind wandering to worries or distractions, gently bring your focus back to your breath. This practice not only calms your mind, but also trains you to stay present in everyday life, helping you savor the moments that might otherwise go unnoticed. Mindfulness can also be practiced through mindful eating, walking, or even working. The key is to give your full attention to whatever you're doing without multitasking or allowing your mind to drift. When you're fully engaged in the present moment, even routine activities become more enjoyable, leading to greater overall happiness. Another benefit of mindfulness is mental clarity. When you're mindful, you're more aware of your thoughts and emotions, which allows you to make clearer, more intentional decisions. Instead of reacting impulsively to situations, mindfulness helps you respond thoughtfully, which can reduce stress and improve your emotional well-being. The connection between mindfulness and emotional well-being is well documented. Studies show that practicing mindfulness can reduce symptoms of anxiety, depression and stress while increasing overall happiness and life satisfaction. By staying present and cultivating awareness, you build emotional resilience, making it easier to navigate life's challenges without becoming overwhelmed. Incorporating mindfulness into your daily routine doesn't require a lot of time or effort. It simply requires intention. Start by setting aside a few minutes each day to practice mindful breathing or meditation. Over time, you'll find that mindfulness becomes a natural part of your life, helping you stay grounded, peaceful and happy, no matter what circumstances you face. Designing a life that prioritizes happiness over material success can be transformative. It requires a shift in perspective, moving away from societal pressures that equate success with wealth, status or external achievements. Instead, it involves building a life around experiences, relationships and activities that bring genuine joy and fulfillment. To create a happiness-focused life, the first step is to redefine what success means to you. For many, success has been conditioned to mean accumulating wealth, climbing the career ladder or achieving visible milestones. While these accomplishments can bring short-term satisfaction, they don't guarantee lasting happiness. True happiness comes from aligning your life with your values, passions and purpose. It's about feeling fulfilled in the present moment, not constantly chasing future goals in the hope that they will finally make you happy. One way to structure your life around happiness is by rethinking your daily routine. Instead of filling your days with obligations that drain your energy, focus on incorporating activities that bring joy, even in small ways. This could mean carving out time for hobbies, spending quality time with loved ones, or practicing mindfulness. It could also involve cutting back on commitments that don't serve you, or learning to say no to things that detract from your well-being. Setting goals that prioritize happiness is another crucial aspect. Rather than focusing solely on career or financial goals, include goals that nurture your emotional and mental health. These could involve improving your relationships, exploring new interests, or developing personal growth habits. By aligning your goals with what truly makes you happy, you create a life that feels more meaningful and satisfying. Over time, choosing happiness every day has a profound impact. As you focus more on what brings joy rather than what society expects, you develop a sense of contentment that's not dependent on external validation. 
This mindset shift helps you enjoy the present and reduces the need to constantly strive for something more. It's about understanding that happiness is not a destination, but a way of living, and with each day's choices, you shape a life that reflects this. Positivity is often described as a superpower for happiness and success, and for good reason. A positive mindset doesn't just affect how you feel, it changes the way you experience life, how you interact with others, and even the opportunities that come your way. While it's easy to be positive when things are going well, the real power of positivity lies in maintaining it, even during difficult situations. Training your mind to focus on the good, regardless of the circumstances, is a skill that takes practice. The human brain is wired with a negativity bias, meaning we tend to focus more on negative experiences than positive ones, this is why many people find it challenging to stay positive when faced with stress, challenges, or setbacks. However, by intentionally practicing positivity, you can rewire your brain to focus on the good more naturally. One effective way to cultivate positivity is through daily affirmations or positive self-talk. Repeating positive statements to yourself, such as, I am capable, things are working out for me, or I choose happiness, helps shift your mindset from negativity to empowerment. These affirmations reinforce a sense of optimism and confidence, even when things are tough. Another technique is to train your mind to look for the silver lining in every situation. No matter how challenging a circumstance may be, there is always something positive to learn or gain from it. Whether it's personal growth, a lesson learned, or the strength to overcome obstacles, focusing on the good helps you maintain a positive outlook. The ripple effect of positivity extends beyond your own happiness. When you approach life with a positive attitude, you influence the people around you. Your energy, mindset, and actions inspire others to adopt a similar outlook. This not only improves your personal relationships, but also fosters a more supportive and collaborative environment in your professional life. Over time, positivity attracts opportunities, deepens connections, and enhances your overall well-being. Acts of kindness are one of the most powerful ways to cultivate happiness. Serving others not only benefits the recipient, but also brings immense joy and fulfillment to the giver. This is because acts of kindness tap into our innate desire to connect and contribute, providing a sense of purpose and meaning that can elevate our mood and mindset. Practicing kindness doesn't have to be grand or life-changing. Even small gestures can have a significant impact, both on others and on yourself. Smiling at a stranger, offering a kind word, holding the door open, or simply listening attentively to someone in need are all simple acts that can shift your emotional state. These small moments of connection remind you of the goodness in the world and help you feel more grounded in positive energy. One of the most profound aspects of kindness is that it often creates a chain reaction. When you do something kind for someone, it not only lifts their spirits, but also inspires them to pass on that kindness to others. This creates a ripple effect of positivity and joy, which can transform entire communities. Kindness is contagious, and as more people experience its benefits, they are motivated to keep the cycle going. There is also scientific evidence supporting the link between kindness and happiness. Studies show that when we engage in acts of generosity, our brain releases chemicals like dopamine and oxytocin, which are associated with pleasure and bonding. These feel-good chemicals enhance our mood and create a sense of warmth and connection with others, reinforcing the idea that giving is just as rewarding as receiving. Incorporating acts of kindness into your daily life can also help you cultivate a more positive mindset. When you focus on serving others, you naturally shift your attention away from your own problems and challenges. This creates a sense of perspective, 
and reminds you of the bigger picture, helping you feel more grateful for what you have. Kindness fosters empathy, compassion, and a deep sense of fulfillment, all of which contribute to lasting happiness. In relationships, choosing happiness means actively prioritizing joy, connection, and emotional well-being over conflict, resentment, or negativity. Whether in romantic, family, or professional relationships, maintaining happiness is about focusing on the positive aspects of your connections while managing challenges in a way that preserves peace and joy. One of the most important ways to prioritize happiness in relationships is through open communication. Many conflicts arise from misunderstandings or unexpressed emotions, leading to frustration and tension. When you communicate openly and honestly, it creates a foundation of trust and understanding that allows for greater harmony. This doesn't mean avoiding difficult conversations, but approaching them with compassion, empathy, and the goal of resolving issues rather than escalating them. Managing conflict in relationships while preserving your joy requires emotional intelligence and patience. Instead of reacting to anger or negativity with more of the same, choose to respond with calmness and understanding. This helps de-escalate tension and allows both parties to feel heard and respected. Choosing love and compassion over resentment and anger not only strengthens your relationships, but also protects your own emotional well-being. In romantic relationships, happiness comes from nurturing the bond with affection, appreciation, and acts of kindness. Rather than focusing on flaws or shortcomings, practice gratitude for the positive aspects of your partner and your relationship. In family relationships, setting healthy boundaries while showing love and understanding can prevent unnecessary stress. And in professional relationships, maintaining a positive and respectful attitude helps you navigate conflicts and challenges without losing your sense of peace. The comparison trap is one of the most insidious ways to undermine happiness. In today's world, where social media showcases the best moments of people's lives, it's easy to fall into the habit of comparing your journey to others. Whether it's comparing careers, relationships, wealth or appearances, this tendency leads to feelings of inadequacy, envy and discontentment. The first step to breaking free from the comparison trap is recognizing that comparison is an illusion. Everyone's journey is unique and what you see on the surface often doesn't reflect the full story. People may appear to have it all together, but behind the scenes they may face struggles that you're unaware of. Understanding this helps you put things into perspective and realize that comparing your life to others is neither fair nor productive. Instead of focusing on what others have or what they've achieved, shift your attention to your own path. Celebrate your unique strengths, talents and accomplishments and acknowledge how far you've come. When you focus on your own growth and personal journey, you cultivate contentment and reject the pressure to keep up with others. Contentment is not about settling for less, but about appreciating what you have and where you are while still working towards your goals. To further free yourself from comparison, practice gratitude. By regularly reflecting on the blessings in your life, you build a mindset of abundance rather than lack. Gratitude helps you focus on the good that's present in your life right now, reducing the urge to compare and instead fostering a sense of fulfillment and happiness. Forgiveness is one of the most powerful tools for unlocking happiness. Holding on to grudges, resentment or anger weighs down your spirit and blocks the flow of joy and peace in your life. When you hold on to past hurts, you allow the pain to take up space in your mind and heart, preventing you from fully embracing happiness. The act of forgiveness doesn't mean excusing bad behavior or forgetting what happened. Instead, it's about releasing the emotional hold that the past has on you. By forgiving, 
you free yourself from the burden of negative emotions, allowing yourself to move forward with a lighter, more open heart. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself, not necessarily the other person. One of the hardest parts of forgiveness is letting go of the need for justice or retribution. Often, we hold on to resentment because we feel that forgiving someone means they've gotten away with what they did. However, forgiveness is not about condoning the behavior. It's about refusing to let that behavior control your happiness. When you forgive, you reclaim your power and your peace. The process of forgiveness involves acknowledging the hurt, processing the emotions, and then consciously deciding to release them. It may take time, and it often requires patience with yourself, but the result is worth the effort. The same principles apply to self-forgiveness. Holding on to guilt or shame for past mistakes prevents you from experiencing true happiness. By forgiving yourself, you give yourself permission to heal and grow. As you practice forgiveness, whether toward others or yourself, you'll find that the emotional burdens you once carried begin to lift. This creates space for more happiness, joy, and peace to flow into your life, leading to a more fulfilling and harmonious existence. Recognizing small victories is a powerful way to maintain happiness and build a mindset of success. Often, we become so focused on large goals or long-term achievements that we overlook the progress we make along the way. However, the path to happiness is not just about reaching big milestones, it's about celebrating the journey and all the small steps that lead to those milestones. One of the reasons why celebrating small wins is crucial to long-term happiness is that it keeps you motivated. When you recognize your progress, no matter how minor, it creates a sense of accomplishment that fuels your desire to keep going. Every time you acknowledge a small victory, you reinforce the belief that you are capable of achieving your goals. This, in turn, boosts your confidence and strengthens your resolve to continue. Celebrating small wins also helps you develop a habit of gratitude and appreciation. Instead of focusing on what hasn't been achieved yet, you shift your mindset to what is already happening in your favor. This creates a positive feedback loop where your sense of progress generates more motivation and that motivation drives further progress. Over time, this habit of appreciation compounds making happiness more accessible because you are constantly finding reasons to celebrate. To build this habit, make it a point to reflect on your daily or weekly progress. At the end of each day, write down three small victories, things you accomplished, moments you felt proud of, or areas where you improved. They don't have to be grand achievements. They could be as simple as completing a task you'd been putting off or maintaining a positive attitude in a challenging situation. By regularly practicing this reflection, you create a mindset of celebration and self-appreciation. This habit also helps build momentum. Success doesn't come all at once. It's the result of consistent effort over time. When you celebrate small wins, you build that momentum gradually, allowing each victory to propel you forward toward your larger goals. This keeps you focused on progress, even when challenges arise, and helps you maintain a positive outlook as you move through life. Choosing happiness is not a one-time decision, it's a lifelong practice. Life will always present challenges, setbacks and difficult moments, but choosing happiness means making the conscious decision to seek joy and fulfillment no matter what stage of life you're in. It's about building resilience and developing a mindset that prioritizes happiness even when circumstances are less than ideal. One of the key ways to make happiness a lifelong practice is by cultivating resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from adversity and it plays a crucial role in sustaining happiness over time. Life is unpredictable and there will be times when things don't go as planned. 
However, by developing resilience, you learn to weather these storms with grace and maintain your sense of joy even in the face of difficulty. Building resilience involves accepting that challenges are a natural part of life and instead of letting them derail your happiness, you use them as opportunities for growth. When you view setbacks as temporary and focus on the lessons they offer, you're able to maintain a positive outlook and continue choosing happiness. This doesn't mean ignoring pain or difficulty, but rather embracing the idea that happiness is possible even in the midst of hardship. In every stage of life, there are unique challenges and opportunities for happiness. Whether you're navigating the uncertainties of youth, the responsibilities of adulthood, or the transitions of later life, happiness is always a choice. As you age, your understanding of happiness may evolve, but the core principle remains the same. Happiness is found in how you respond to life, not in life's external circumstances. To make choosing happiness a lifelong practice, it's important to build daily habits that reinforce this mindset. Whether it's through gratitude, mindfulness, positive thinking, or celebrating small wins, these habits keep you grounded in the present moment and remind you to find joy in the little things. Surrounding yourself with positive relationships, focusing on personal growth, and living with purpose also contribute to a lifelong sense of fulfillment and happiness. Even in difficult times, it's essential to remember that happiness is still within your reach. There will be days when it's harder to choose happiness, when life feels overwhelming and joy seems distant. But those are the moments when it's most important to dig deep and remember that happiness is not dependent on circumstances. It's a decision you make each day. By practicing the principles outlined in this audiobook, you'll build the inner strength and mindset needed to maintain happiness throughout your life. The more you choose happiness, the more natural it becomes, and soon it becomes a way of life. No matter what challenges come your way, you'll have the tools and the mindset to continue choosing joy, living with purpose, and creating a life filled with fulfillment and peace. Ultimately, a lifetime of choosing happiness is about embracing the journey, celebrating the progress, and recognizing that happiness is within your control. It's not something you wait for, it's something you actively create every day. And as you continue to choose happiness, you'll find that it becomes easier, more automatic, and a defining part of who you are.